Hi guys, this is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we'll be dealing with module one on our basic Android training. Today we'll be learning the difference between native apps, web apps, and hybrid apps. Native apps. As you are seeing here, I have an iPhone, I have a Samsung phone. Now I ask you to install an app on both of it. I ask you to install an app on an iOS phone from Google's Play Store. I ask you to install an app from Apple Store. onto my Samsung device. Do you think this is possible? On an iOS device, I'll be able to install my app from Apple Store. On a Samsung device, I'll be able to download app from Google Play Store. So now I'll be able to install an app on my Samsung device from my Google Play Store. So I'll take off this tick mark and this should be right. I'll be able to install my app onto the iOS device from Apple Store. So this should be right. This justifies on an Apple phone, I'll be able to install the app from Apple Store. On a Samsung phone, I'll be able to install app from the Google Play Store. This defines native apps. Let's start with web apps. Now I want to open a website on my phone. So how do I do it? I just go to my iPhone I go to my Samsung phone, I'll open Safari on this, I'll open Google Chrome on this. So what do I do now? So I take up the iOS phone, I'll go to my Safari and open freshersworld.com. World.com and I go to my Samsung phone on my Google Chrome and open freshersworld.com. Simple. On my browser, I'm opening freshersworld.com using Safari. On my Google phone, I'm opening freshersworld.com using Google Chrome. So this defines web apps. Web apps is nothing but your browsers on your respective devices. Let's start with hybrid apps. Now, I don't want to use my Chrome or my Safari to open apps. I just want one app to be installed both on my iOS as well as Samsung device. So how do I do it? I just want an app to be installed on my iOS device as well as Samsung device. Yes, we can do that. We can do that using PhoneGap, which is powered by Cordova engine. Now, using this PhoneGap and Cordova engine, I'll be able to write an app which can be installed both on iOS as well as on Samsung. So this concept is known as hybrid app. Hybrid apps are used in order to reduce the expenses on native development. Hi guys, this is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today, we'll be dealing with module 2 on our Android training. So let's start with Android architecture.
it's a big word texture before starting with android architecture i just want to show you my samsung phone if you can't see my samsung phone i have a charger plugin i have a headset plugin so what is this this is nothing but a device driver this is nothing but a device driver fine what how it is related to android architecture so let's start the android architecture would consist of four layers the base layer would be the linux kernel so now what is a linux kernel what it consists of as i showed you this is my headset jack and this is my charger jack so what is this so this is nothing but device drivers so coming to the topmost layer as you can see in my phone i have apps installed on my phone so you're able to see it this would be the topmost layer the apps can be facebook tinder or even whatsapp fine the layers in between these two where are these apps running on the runtime in other terms i'll call this to be android runtime this would be consisting of two features or two components that is dvm and libraries let's not go deep into this so let's see what is the next layer this layer would be your java frameworks so why is this java frameworks used you want to run your app on to the android runtime you need to have some components helping you so these components are nothing but java frameworks so now android coding is mainly on java please subscribe to our youtube channel for more android videos thank you